Welcome, everyone, to the channel. We appreciate you coming by and seeing what Nathan, my best friend, and I have to say about Davina. Nathan and I have so far, if you've seen the other couple of reactions we've done with Davina, we love her personality. We think she's lovely, both physically mm -hmm. and, of course, what's in here and here. We find her very lovely, wonderful, beautiful personality. What did you say, Nathan? I agree. I think she would be a lot of fun to hang out with. Yes. Yeah. Totally agree. And we're going to see a live performance. Nathan, this is a request, a Patreon request, of course, from Nina. And she says, hey, I'm glad you guys are digging Davina. Here's some more. And this is a, one of her original songs. This is her performing with her band at the tour or during the tour when they opened for Pink. So that's really cool. That's mm -hmm. just, we talked about that before in our previous reaction. But yes, we'll stay, stay again. Very cool for Davina. Do a cover of an artist and you're opening for that artist <laughs> later. That's pretty wild how that all happened. Mm -hmm. Um also, her band, my understanding was, is Davina went on like the American Idol version in her country for like singing auditions. Yep. And she, I don't know if she won or not. I can't remember how far she got. Do you remember? I forget how far she I got. I can't remember okay. the, yeah. Okay. But anyway, she, she competed. So there's a band of guys who are like, hey, man, let's ask her to front our band. She can sing. Mm -hmm. And I think she'd be mm -hmm. great. So apparently that's what happened. So that's the band we're going to see now is that band came up to her and said, hey, would you like to sing for us? And the drummer and her are boyfriend and girlfriend, and they collaborate together in writing music. Hmm. Hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, they uh, they make music both in the bedroom and on paper. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, um, i i should have I should have said my thing first so that you wouldn't go there. So, Ryan, I just wanted to say. You're looking very svelte today. I love your your plaid shirt. It's looking good. Is this right? is this Everyone, considered plaid? It's a plaid. It's, yeah. Is this plaid? Okay. Well, I just yeah. yeah it's one. Of, it's one of my favorite. I, I love wearing collar shirts like this. Thank you, Nathan. <laughs> You're looking very handsome with your toque and your hoodie. Oh, shut up. <laughs> your hoodie. <laughs> uh, well, we're actually going to our daughter's dance recital today, so oh, I'm, you gotta look I, good. I'm actually put. Well, you don't have to look good. But it's it's informal. Like even the girls are wearing like just casual clothes it's just an informal dance club mm -hmm. thing so mm -hmm. but i'm am wearing a collared shirt to that so i figured i'd put it on now and then i'll be wearing that at, at this evening's events yeah, well you look great i recommend okay, i well, I, I approve thank you all the other ladies approve i'm just joking i'm just joking. don't answer <laughs> all right nate you ready to go ready okay let's check it out I feel you breathing down my neck when I want space I told you how I feel but nothing changed Am I wrong? Am I wrong? You can wrap your arms around me, that's okay But when your hands run down my back, don't pass my ways No more Anymore Giving me the wrong attention For once I need you to listen I'm not your object of affection No more Nothing left to say Used to talk for hours nowadays All the time we're spending is a waste One no more You're giving me the wrong attention For once I need you to listen I'm not your object of affection No more anymore
change my mind Not this time, not this time goodness i have so much i want to say but you have to go first yes i get to go first that's right i might say some things that you're going to say i do apologize if i take that away from you but it's okay. It's okay. a couple things when she first started singing i was like is she lip syncing you know i just my brain just like because it sounded so good right away like i can't believe her voice mm-hmm. uh, it sounds the way it sounds like are we listening i know she's singing live but that's just my brain just like are we listening to watching the music video of a live show? You know what I mean? Like, are we? It's like, no, she's singing. I can't believe how clear and um, what's and flawless and effortless she was as she's bouncing around the stage and singing and moving. It's like one, it's good, it's great to be young, <laughs> and two, uh, just being able to belt out the way she was. And what I also loved about Davina's performance was she was owning the stage, which you have to do. You're the opening act. We get it. Everyone there is probably, there were some people singing along to her song in the crowd. So there definitely were Davina fans in the crowd, which is great. You get a double bill. You get to watch Pink. You get to watch Davina. And it's always the best when you go to a concert and you like the opening act as well. Mm -hmm. But yeah, of course, this is a Pink concert. But what she, how she performed and how the band performed was like, this is our show. Because that's how you win fans over. You can't, you can't be an opening act saying, I know you guys are here to see Pink. And some bands have done this. They've really caved into the, you have to win the crowd over. That's mm-hmm. the whole job. It's really kind of exciting to watch opening acts for that reason. Like, are you going to win me over? Because I'm going to be reacting as a member of the crowd to you. Are you going to win me over? And had I been a member of that crowd there to see Pink, not knowing Davina, I would have been won over by that performance. Okay. And in the last part, and I'll turn over to you. I don't want to take away too much, but so what? <laughs> um, <laughs> boy, her band is great. And I think mm-hmm. they found their singer. Like the band is a great, tight, great production from the soundboard. I don't know who the soundboard people are, but the soundboard quality, you could hear that deep bass from the drums and just great soundboard quality. Whoever's running the soundboard there or whatever equipment they're using, because that's a good soundboard. They made that band, like just hearing that live performance, I felt like I was at the concert, could hear that deep bass throughout the concert um, or throughout that performance. Great band behind, great drumming by her boyfriend. Sorry, I already forget the name. I do apologize. But yeah, Davina surrounded herself with some very talented musicians, and I, I'm really happy she's using a band. That's great. I love that she's using a band. Okay, Nate, your turn. <laughs> yeah, you you, uh, you said similar things to what I was going to say without taking away what I was going to say, so that's good. The the one thing about the band I want to mention really quickly, there, there's nothing off-putting about any member of the band. And I don't mean that... that like I would be off put by anyone that looks weird or anything like that. But as far as like the, the big picture, the whole package, they, they've got it. Like drummer's fantastic. The guitarist was killing it. I love his white guitar. It was just such a, I don't know. I like, I like guitars. Um, keyboardist, same thing. They all seem to be in sync with each other. And that was a, a huge plus. I think my, at the heart of what I wanted to say is this. <clears throat> if you look at Davina Michelle and go, oh, she's just, she's a pretty face. That's why everyone likes her. It's kind of like 
this is this, you think, oh, that's the thing. That's the reason why people might want to like her. Once you start to get to know more about everything under the hood here, that's like way down here. And there's all of these other things that are actually way better <clears throat> than just that. Things like, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Things like, like her vocals kind of remind me of uh, Adele. She's got an Adele-like voice mixed with, uh, uh, oh my gosh, this is why I can't, this is why, Ryan, you're so much better at this than I am. Um, Stop it. Yeah. When it comes to me, I'll say it. And then everyone's, I'm going to be embarrassed. I'm going to be very embarrassed when this comes With what? Um, with what you're about anyway, to say? No, with the oh. person that I can't remember right now oh, for okay. some reason. Um, anyway, the the vocals were were so uh, rich and like you said, like uh, it had that feel of like, um, just it just had that that uh, like you said it, it was uh, um, oh my gosh. My brain is malfunctioning today. I've, I've been living all night in the cold because my furnace is broken. So I'm trying to like, anyway, here, let me sum it up. I like it. <laughs> well said, Nathan. I, I, I could have said it better myself. In fact, I did. Um, okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> we I, I'm mostly just stunned. I think that's mostly it. I was like, I had all those feelings of like, this is a, this is fantastic. We're getting to know somebody at the beginning, beginning ish of their career, and like a a solid, solid direction. Um, yeah, there's there's nothing about what we heard there that would would make us go like, Meh, it's not really our thing. Like we've had some artists like that where we're kind of like they're great and we we like some of their songs but we're kind of like it's not entirely my thing this one feels a lot more like oh yeah we could we could if this is her sound this kind of rock edgy you know sound yeah we're we're in for the long haul here this is great agreed all right enough not enough said but i think we've said it all good stuff thank you so much nina we appreciate your support we appreciate all of our patrons but thank you so much nina for this yes it was wonderful. Thanks, everybody who joined us. Go check out the other ones that we reacted to for uh, Davina. We, yeah, we've, I, I can't say enough about Davina. She's so just fantastic. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you in the next one.